The vision for the project as far as the Perth Children's Hospital Foundation is concerned is a world-class interactive space that will allow us to contribute to the recovery and healing of children, the stress relief of staff, and ultimately the relaxation opportunities for the families of people that are uh, in the hospitals for short, medium and long-term stays. Wanare ga malana, wanare ga malana, boyongora. I remember as a child myself, I was in hospital a lot, and it was just grey and white. Even when you went outside, it was just a bench to sit upon. This is a place that meant so much to our people, especially to my um, mothers, uh, great grandmothers, the women of the area at that time. So we see Kings Park as a healing place for all of us. Our goal is to ensure that every child has the opportunity to reach their full potential. Some of that is through very technical, medical, modern interventions. But we also know the amazing power that nature has in the healing process. This green space project affords us the opportunity to bring that process right into the heart of the hospital. Research is showing us more and more that time outside, particularly in a really biologically diverse setting, is so beneficial for kids. So we've known for a while that it's beneficial for their physical development. We know it's good for their emotional resilience. And now research is showing us more and more that it impacts on healing and recovery too. The foundation took a view right from the beginning that we wanted to uh, talk to as many people as we can to influence our thinking around the kind of space we needed. Clinicians, nurses, children, family members, collaborative stakeholders like the QE2 Trust and the Perth Children's Hospital itself. And it also included for us the importance of uh, cultural advice, particularly Aboriginal cultures, and uh, they were instrumental in our ability to get the kind of outcome that we've got now. Rio Tinto has been uh, sponsoring a few different initiatives with the Perth Children's Hospital Foundation. And for us, it's a really important relationship. Um, it ties back to one of our core values, which is care. And it's a great way for us to contribute into the community. I'd like to see us not only acknowledge, but ultimately celebrate more of our Indigenous history. The stories, the background, the cultural connection to country, I think is very important for us to recognise and to be able to integrate that in this space, I think will be a fantastic opportunity for us. The Noongar seasons, the six seasons, the Pona, we call the Pona, basically will be reflected in the design in a way of colours in major sort of uh, understanding of plants that would have been blooming in that time, even the animals that were migrated in that time also. And looking at moieties of like the crow and the white cockatoo, which pretty much uh, governs our skin system. And the significance of the, the trapdoor spider we call the gar, and gar garap is the name of King's Park. We're trying to get people to understand connection, balance, well-being, and renewal and this opportunity to rebuild a, um, an area that connects to the parkland just across the road, how important um, country is to our people. I've spent way too long at the hospital. It's basically a second home for me. It's very important that it's inclusive because being in a wheelchair, you cannot do a lot of things. And I want people to feel safe and happy. Thank you.